when you buy the key loom, the pieces that you will get is the uh, pegs that goes on the front, the pins, the screws, washers, which are very, very thin, the nuts, and the pick. The optional items with the loom are another set of pegs and the wooden pick that is really, really good. It's really easy to handle, very smooth, wonderful tip to work with fine gauge. And how this will work is, as you can see, the uh, pins are not set on the middle of the board. Same thing with the pegs. By assembling the two smaller sides side to side, we can knit with really thin yarns, which allow us to have a very tight weaving with a very thin yarn. We can take it apart and turn the pins and we will have the second setting which will allow us to work with a thicker yarn. <coughs> this is done with the same pattern as the smallest sweater, but as you can see, it turns out to be bigger working with a thicker yarn. Once again, we can take it apart, we can turn around the peg side, and now we are at the third setting. The third setting will allow for uh, working with even a bulkier yarn and therefore coming with even a bigger item like this one right here. Again, these three sweaters were made working with the exact same amount of pegs and rows, but the difference is really, really noticeable. <coughs> now, if we bring in washers, we can put a few washers on each screw, same amount of washers, of course, on each side, and assemble again the loom And now we have even a different gauge. This applies with each one of the settings and we can put as many washers as we want in between the two boards and we have a different gauge. With the optional peg part, if we put this, then the loom becomes a regular adjustable gauge board. With a board, like many of you know, you will need a piece that on both sides it looks exactly the same. So by getting all the loom and all the optional parts, we have an adjustable rake with the gauge and we also have an adjustable board. Okay, so this is really